All right, let me give you a few little tips now you have your photo in about editing your photo. We've um, talked about photo effects before. They're really, really fun to use. Um, they're really easy. You just come in and choose what you want, like a warm black and white. I can click apply and then I can layer another effect on top of that. So I can do an ap apply and make it kind of blurry. You can see my photo back here. It's kind of, that actually looks really cool. A warm black and white with a little blur that looks kind of antique-y. Um, then I could even layer, I could flip it like this. You can see the preview right here. I can flip it upside down, mirror it. So you can change your image so many different ways. You can darken it and apply and darken it again, apply, brighten it, apply, brighten it again, apply. So lots and lots of different things that you can do. Another really cool thing that I want to show you just really quickly is I'm just going to undo, undo this so I can get back to my original image is to just, um, there we go, change the opacity of your photo. So I can bring my opacity down and make it look just kind of like a overlay, like a kind of a vellum overlay. And then if I want, this is a really fun little thing to do. I can insert a shape, so like a square, that's what you're gonna wanna use. I can put that in and I can change the color of this shape to anything that I want to tint my photo with. Does that make sense? If not, I'll show you. So if I want like a, let's see, like a bluish tint. This will just give you an example. This isn't gonna be really cute, but it will show you what I'm talking about. And then I wanna have this shape go behind my photo. So I'm gonna come right here to send object backwards and it will go behind my photo. And now you see my photo here is on top and I've changed the opacity so you can see that shape underneath. So it kind of has a bluish tint to it. So that's my original and then as I change my opacity you can get that. So it might look actually really cool if I did like a um, like a brown or something. Maybe we I can try like this. And then change my opacity Oops. of my photo. And it looks kind of antique-y. Kind of like a faded photo. So anyway, you can go ahead and play around with that if you want. There's tons of different photo effects. If you guys have any others that I haven't talked about that you'd like to use, any tips and tricks, please feel free to um, leave them in a comment so I can learn all about them. We'll go to that point and then we'll add some paper and some embellishments.